In this video, we'll solve uh, advection diffusion problem using COMSOL. Let's uh, open COMSOL, open model wizard. Uh, I'll use a 2D model, so I'll click 2D. Uh, I want to study diffusion. I'll go to the chemical species transport and select the transport of diluted species module. I add it. Uh, then I click study and I want to see how the diffusion changes with time so I will select a time dependent study and say done. <coughs> okay. First we have to select a geometry. Currently the lengths, the units for length here is meter, I will change it to centimeter. Uh, Let us draw using the line option. So, we'll first draw a rectangle. Uh, and a Y on top of it. Where I click uh, the region is formed. I also want to draw a small circle on top of it. So, I will right click on geometry, select circle uh, with the radius of uh, say 0.05. And I want it somewhere here. So, the center is 0, uh, x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is minus 0.4. So, I will build all objects. So, I have my circle on top of the Y channel. Then I uh, will go to the transport of diluted species module. So, it is showing that both the regions, both the domains are selected 1 and 2. Transport properties. If I go to the equation, which it will show the equation which is being used for this study. So, it uses the convection diffusion equation rate of change of concentration uh, plus the lap diffusion time diffusion coefficient times the laplacian here diffusion coefficient is assumed to be not constant so it's inside the brackets plus the this is the velocity term the advection due to the flow and on the right is the generation of species term so there is a no flux boundary for all the walls so, I want to assign an initial value uh, to the concentration. If I do that here, it will assign for to both the domains. Since I have different concentrations in different domains, I need two initial values. I will right click on transport and add another initial values option. So, for initial values 2, I will select this as my domain. So, the blue region is selected which is domain 2. I will assign a concentration of 200. And for initial values 1, if you see region 2 is overridden because it has already been as been assigned for region 1 the concentration I will leave it as 0 which is everything other than the circle. So, next I will uh, we also have to assign the diffusion coefficient for the species. So, the diffusion coefficient currently is set to 1 e minus 9 I will change it to 1 e minus 8 meter square per second currently there is no velocity field so i'll leave it like that i want to study pure diffusion right now without any velocity uh, let's go to mesh so here we can define the element size of the mesh if you build all you can see currently this is the mesh uh, over which the finite uh, element analysis is solved so i can change it to a more finer mesh to get more accurate results uh, or a coarser mesh uh, in which case uh, you can get the answer quickly but the accuracy will not be high so I'll leave it as at normal currently and study with the normal uh, mesh option then I go to the study time dependent I'll assign the time over which I have to run the simulation currently the range is 0 to 1 with a step of 0.1 and the time units are seconds I want to study up to 100 seconds or 
let's say 120 seconds with a time step of every 10 seconds then I will replace so that I get ready for the new time and I hit compute ok so it has solved and it is plotting if you go to surface plot it is plotting the concentration uh, in the domain uh, currently it is showing for time 120 if I go to time 0 and hit plot so all the concentration is in the circle as I wanted it to be now if I increase the time from 0 to 10 seconds you see that uh, it is diffusing diffusion does not have any particular direction so it is diffusing in all directions so at a higher concentration from the center it is diffusing to lower concentration if I increase the time to 30 seconds you will see that it is diffusing more uh, if I go to 8, 70 seconds now uh, you see that there is a little unevenness that is because of the wall it is getting reflected from the wall <coughs> uh, now I can actually uh, see how the diffusion is varying with the uh, time at every uh, so how the concentration is varying with time at every point so let us say I select the, uh, a point uh, somewhere here close to the center uh, and uh, if I want to see how the diffusion is varying to, uh, to do that I will go to the data sets right click on the data sets and add a cut point uh, and select a point at one at which I want to study the diffusion let us say I want to study at 0 and the minus 0.4 uh, the center region 0 minus 0.4 and plot so it will show me where the point is selected uh, with the red dot there uh, now I want to tell that I need a 1D plot so I will right click on results add a 1, 1D plot group and, for, and right click on 1D plot group again and say I want a point graph uh, and from the data set of cut point 2D and the y axis for the plot is concentration and the x axis data is time so if I hit plot I will get the concentration as a function of time for that particular point ok now let us see how these results change uh, when I add uh, a flow uh, to the channel before that let, let me also show you how I can uh, export this data so to do that I uh, will right click on point graph and say add plot data to export it's, it has added to the export so in the plot I it has already selected the point graph 1 data and I want to export as a text file uh, let us say the file name is pure diffusion sorry I uh, will go to browse and say pure diffusion is the name of the file and, uh, and I want it as an excel file so I will save it as csv and hit uh, save uh, and then say export so it can export that data uh, let us see if I have the file so I have the pure diffusion file here so it has uh, selected uh, uh, the x coordinates and the y coordinates the x coordinate is time the y coordinate is concentration uh, so I will come back to this after uh, getting the data for the advection diffusion we will uh, combine both the data and plot these curves and see how the time profile changes ok so to do to find uh, how the diffusion changes with flow I need to add a new physics for uh, the flow so right click on component and say add physics and I want a laminar flow uh, I mean it's showing here because I have recently used but uh, if you are using for the first time you have to go to fluid flow go to single phase flow and double click on the laminar flow and that new physics will get added in our uh, 
module here if you go to laminar flow equation it is solving uh, the equations for uh, it's all it's actually solving the navier stokes equations so i need to assign a fluid uh, so currently it says from material you can is uh, you can change it to user defined give a density and uh, also a viscosity value uh, i'll leave it as material and and add a material here uh, in the material section i'll right click and add material from library so i mean there are different materials in the in different modules i'll go to built in i'm looking for water here uh, i'll double click on water and select that as my material so it will automatically assign the dynamic viscosity and density for water uh, now i'll go back to the fluid properties again so when it says from material will take from the material selected which is water now initial values uh, initially there is no velocity in the region and there is no pressure in the region uh, if you go to wall uh, where are the, all the boundaries are following a no slip boundary condition uh, uh, but what we want is an inlet from here and two outlets here so to do that i'll right click on laminar flow add an inlet uh, so you'll have to select the boundary where you want the inlet so you can manually select i want this as my inlet it'll, say it'll select that boundary 6 with the velocity of uh, uh, let's say 0.01 if you have other boundary conditions you can have a pressure boundary condition at the inlet or some of the other boundary conditions listed here okay now uh, let's also add an outlet right click and to add you right click and select the uh, outlet boundary condition here again you click on outlet uh, again you select the regions where you want the outlet to be I'll select this and this and at the outlet cur currently I'm choosing a pressure boundary condition of 0 you can set it to 1 atmosphere or whatever you want you can also select a velocity boundary condition or other boundary conditions listed here ok now let's run this uh, uh, with, the, with the flow added in addition to diffusion one more thing we have to do is connect both the physics so to do that let's go to the transport properties currently the velocity field is zero user defined i'll change it to the velocity field spf this spf is the name given for the laminar flow here so right now this physics the diffusion physics will take our velocity flow field from the laminar flow and then apply that to the diffusion of the uh, of uh, the species in this equation it will add the u term in addition to the diffusion let's go to time dependent compute again for the same time range okay so let's go to time zero and plot so time zero should be as uh, we expected go to time 10 seconds you see that in addition to diffusing it's also it has also moved because of the flow in in this uh, y positive y direction if i increase the time more 30 seconds it's flowing a little uneven because the channel i created is uneven in the first place so as time progresses it will start moving out of the uh, boundary uh, at time 120 you see that uh, I started with the concentration of 200 so you see that the entire uh, concentration is going up and is getting accumulated here ok uh, let's uh, uh, 
do the same thing let us see what the point graph shows now for the center here as a function of time the point graph shows that the concentration has dropped uh, pretty fast uh, because of the diffusion at the center advection at the center so let us uh, ex plot this uh, as a uh, diffusion advection diffusion and save it on desktop and export this csv file and let us open the file advection diffusion so this is the data so I will copy it onto the other file this is time this is pure diffusion and this is advection diffusion okay. now let us plot this data uh, insert a scatter plot okay If you see this data, uh, the blue line is pure diffusion. So it is diffusing uh, from the center. You see it's falling slowly, but if you add uh, advection to it, it will dip. It is dropping very fast at the center, which is expected. Okay, I hope uh, that this example shows you how you can use uh, COMSOL to so solve an advection diffusion problem. Thank you.